Hey ladies and gentlemen, a little more impromptu than I like, but quickly I want to talk about the Gideon Optics Mediator. I got this, I actually ordered I think on Saturday, received it on Tuesday, today is Wednesday. I just finished installing it on my Glock 45 and uh, I, w I thought it looked pretty durable. There's no need for me to do any abuse testing. Some guy already tossed it down his driveway. Um, you can go dig up that video if you want, uh, Michael B. Don't worry, you don't have to worry about any footage of me doing that. Um, so installed really easily, already had a battery in it, came on, selectable reticles, so you could do a dot and a circle, circle only or just a dot. Uh, I had set it to just the dot because that's my preference. Went on the gun like cake, no problem. Uh, instructions were clear. No issues. The price was right. $229 before shipping. $239 was shipping. And I was prepared to have a grand old time with this optic. I was going to go zero it tomorrow. And I was going to just run it on the gun that I, I usually run around with my Glock 45, which you've seen a million times. Well, here's the Glock 45. And as you can see, there's no Gideon optic on it. That looks surprisingly like a Hollow Sun 509T because it is. And the flaw that for me kind of put me back into this optic was the fitment of this in Safari Land holsters. I've got a six series and a seven series Safari Land holster and it wouldn't fit into either of them. Now I'm a lefty, I don't know if it fits into righties, but that battery door was way too wide to clearance the side of the holster. I'll put pictures so you can see for me to make that fit, I was going to have to force feed that thing into the holster like you shouldn't do, or I was going to have to take a Dremel to that holster and turn it into something that the manufacturer would never ever in their lives conceive of as being a valid holster. So for me, sadly, the mediator with a lot of good going for it, I like the 2032 battery. I think the battery life is going to be spectacular. Dot was clear, glass was clear, everything looks super good about this optic, uh, but it just wouldn't fit into the holster. So I'm back to the hollow sun. So is this right for you? If you don't have to fit it into a Safari Land duty holster, then probably, uh, especially for the enclosed optic, the durability and the price, which right now crushes everything else in the enclosed optic world. But like I said, if you're serious about it for duty and you're running around in a duty style holster from Safari Land, at least right now, those two are incompatible. So do with that information what you will um, to the uh, individual from Gideon Optics who took care of me. Thank you very much. I like your optic. I unfortunately just won't work for me. Hopefully that helps you out if you were on the fence about this optic. If you don't need to stuff it in a duty holster and you want an enclosed optic, uh, I at least from what I'm seeing right now, I'd recommend it. But if you're a cop and you're trying to stuff this into a Safari Land 6390 or I forget which 7 Series, I think that uh, you're going to have to go with either the Hollow Sun. Let's see, what else can we get in there? The uh, Aimpoint Acro will fit and so will the Steiner MPS. Those three I know for a fact will all fit in those Safari Land holsters, both 6 and 7 series. Uh, there are probably others out there. It's becoming a wide world of amazing optics at amazing price points. Everything's super durable. Everything's relatively inexpensive. And right now, it's, it's like the golden age of pistol optics, but uh, not this one for my holsters, unfortunately. Guys, I'm going to end this video here. I'm not going to make it super long. Like I said, once again, thank you to Gideon Optics. Everybody out there, take care. Stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Get him, Jay.